How's it going everyone? Commissioner Smash from IGL here and today we're doing something a bit different. I'm going to pull out a bunch of creative team names that you all have come up with and we're going to feed them to T-Now and see which ones he likes best. So tune in, it's going to be a fun time and let's get started. All right, so let's get started. First team name up on the docket for T-Now to review, and he'll be doing it on a scale of one to 10. So 10 being the best. So who's gonna get that uh, that special 10 today? I'm, I'm not sure. But first up, chest hair, best hair. T-Now, what do you think? Chest hair, best hair is hilarious. It's a really funny name. I think I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me, let me bump it up to nine. Nine out of 10, hilarious name. You can tell they like to have fun with it. I love the name, chest hair, best hair. Okay, a nine out of 10, starting off strong. Didn't quite get that 10 out of 10 though. Let's see if uh, another team on the list can uh, can earn that coveted prize. Up next, absolutely crazy about beans, Tino. It's on you absolutely crazy about beans they've got passion i'll give them that i definitely like the name i can't say i myself am absolutely crazy about beans so i'm gonna give this name a seven out of ten for having a lot of passion standing up for what they believe in but you know as the judge the beans just didn't really speak to me seven out of ten is the verdict tina i think i agree that seems like a, a fair a fair verdict uh let's go ahead and move on to the bad news birds what do you think Bad news birds. Nothing really striking me with this one. I kind of, I like the name. I think it flows nicely, but I don't think there's anything too crazy or too special about it. I'm gonna give it a six and a half uh, because, you know, just for me personally, nothing really jumps out there. I need a little bit more pizzazz with these names. Well, now we know what T-Now likes, pizzazz. So let's see if a couple other names on this list can, uh, can bring the pizzazz. Up next, Little Caesars Pizza Hut. I'm not sure how hungry you are, Tina, but that might influence your decision. You know, I'm not too hungry right now, Smash, but I am hungry for this name because Little Caesars Pizza Hut is hilarious. Little Caesars is awesome. Nobody out pizzas the hut. This name has pizzazz in the form of pizza. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Ooh, another team falls just short of that 10 out of 10 coveted rating. Let's go ahead and see if this next one can uh, can pull out the win. Peaky Blinders, what do you think? Peaky Blinders is definitely an interesting name. I feel like there's a TV show right now that's pretty popular, Peaky something or other. I don't know, guys. I'm old. I just turned 31 a week ago, so I don't know too much. I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10 for possibly being like a pretty cool reference slash an interesting name. But nothing really jumped out to me about it, but it's probably because I'm a boomer. 7 out of 10 for Peaky Blinders. Unfortunately, Peaky Blinders doesn't make the cut, but what about this next one? Another food-related one, Cheeseburgers in Paradise. I really like this one. You're tugging at the heartstrings a little bit here because my brother met his wife at a Jimmy Buffett concert. So Cheeseburgers in Paradise, that means a lot to me here. I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 because everybody loves that song, number one. It's got a special meaning here for the judge. And I think it's just a great theme that you're going with. Eight and a half, cheeseburgers in paradise. Keep up the good work. An eight and a half out of 10. Not bad, but unfortunately still not that 10 out of 10 that uh, that I'm wanting, T-Now. Let's see if uh, some a couple of these other names can, can get the win. Up next, Socks and Crocs. T-Now, I'm feeling good about this one. Well, Smash, your intuition is good here, but I'm not going to give you a 10 out of 10. I'm going to give you a 100 out of 10 for Socks and Crocs. I absolutely love it. I just got some Crocs myself. Remember, I mentioned I'm a boomer. They're the most comfortable thing in the entire world, and I wear socks with it. This is the greatest name you could ever come up with. This video is about to turn into an ad for Crocs. I love them so much. Go get yourself some Crocs. Socks and Crocs, 100 out of 10. Probably the greatest name we have in IGL. I absolutely love it. You know, I was, I was kind of joking with Socks and Crocs, but we got our 10 out of 10. Uh, let's see if we can get another team in there, or two, who can also pull out that uh, that coveted 10 out of 10. Tropical Gaming up next. What do you think? You know, I like the concept of Tropical Gaming, but I don't feel like there's anything like 
inherently unique about the name, right? We all want to go on a vacation, so I got to give it at least a 7 out of 10 for that. But you know, we haven't been able, I haven't been able to go on a vacation. I'm sure a lot of people haven't been able to go on a vacation for a while, so the whole tropical thing just makes me feel a little, makes me feel a little sad. So 7 out of 10, tropical gaming. I like the idea, I like the theme, but, uh... We haven't got to see the tropics in so long, man. Maybe maybe it would be a higher rating if, if uh, vacations were an option right now. You know, sometimes I do wonder, in times like these, do vacations even exist? But hopefully someday they will again. Let's go ahead and move on to our next one. And if tropics wasn't uh, your vacation of choice, maybe Big Fish is. Big Tuna up next. What do you think? Big Tuna. I like this one a lot. It's obviously a reference to the TV show The Office, which I am a huge fan of. Um, and, you know, I kind of like fishing as well. And tuna is actually a pretty good food. So this one's got a lot going for it. They wrapped it all up into one package. They delivered it. 9 out of 10 for Big Tuna. Keep on swimming towards that championship this season. Big Tuna pulling out the big 9 out of 10. But up next, we've got something even bigger. The man, the myth, the legend, Shack Attack. Can he pull out the 10 out of 10? Tina, what do you think? This one is very close, Smash. This one's very close to the 10 out of 10. I mean, who doesn't love Shaq? He's hilarious. He even has a video game made after him with uh, Shaq Fu. So Shaq's got a lot of funny stuff going on. I love that they brought that into the name with the Shaq Attack. I don't think I can give it the 10 out of 10. Uh, I'm going to give it a 9 because it's a great name. It's hilarious. Everybody loves Shaq. But the 10 out of 10, I need just a little bit more. Just a little. 9 out of 10 still. Really good, though. Unfortunately, Shaq, the basketball legend, couldn't pull out the 10 out of 10. If he was here in person, I think he'd disagree with you, T, now. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Up next, this one's interesting. I'm not entirely sure what it means, but their name is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. T, now, give us the verdict. I have to say I'm not really sure what to think of this name. It's a bit irritating to read. I feel like that's kind of what they were going for. But on the flip side, as we know in the IGL playoffs, the weeks change from Monday to Sunday to Tuesday through Monday. So I'm wondering if this is like a slick little IGL reference here to uh, help themselves remember when they get to the championship, when they're supposed to be playing. I'm going to give a 6 out of 10, though. Your team name needs to be a little bit more concise, needs to have a little purpose to it. I like the potential nod to the IGL playoff schedule here, but maybe they were just testing the limits of our naming system. Who knows? 6 out of 10. This one, uh, I, it's just not really doing it for me, Smash. It's unfortunate that uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday couldn't perform better, but uh, hey, maybe they'll do better in their actual gameplay this season in the fall circuit. Let's go ahead and move on to the Fresh Princes of Ball Air. This is another one. Don't let uh, Will Smith down, t -Now. I love it. I absolutely love it. This is going to be the other 10 out of 10 here. Or maybe there will be more. Who knows? But uh, I love this name. Great reference to a show. Will Smith is awesome. You've got a little pun in there, which always scores big points in my book with the dad jokes. This name is the full package. The Fresh Princes of Ball Air are walking home with a 10 out of 10. Somewhere, wherever Will Smith is, he is giving you a round of applause, T now. He is thrilled about that. But up next, the last, but maybe not least, we've got Chick-fil-A Esports. Hopefully no copyright trademark infringement there, but give us the verdict, Tina. What do you think? I definitely like this one. I'm a fan of Chick-fil-A myself. I can tell that this team is definitely a fan if they're naming themselves after it. Solid 8 out of 10 because, let's be honest, Chick-fil-A is delicious, but Zaxby's is the best chicken restaurant. Don't at me. If they were Zaxby's Esports, probably a 10 out of 10, but Chick-fil-A Esports, you get a solid 8 out of 10. Being creative, being a great place to eat. Um, you're going home with the 8 out of 10. Enjoy it. Well, there you have it. All these team names have been rated. We got a couple with a 10 out of 10, a couple with 9s, a couple with 8s, and then a bunch that were unfortunately left in the dust. Best of luck next time. If we do this again, uh, maybe your team will make the cut and get a better score. If we think we were wrong, make sure to leave a comment. Make sure to let us know why you think we were wrong or if you think a team should have been better or worse. Uh, please let us know. 
But that's it. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. Hit that subscribe button to get all the latest and greatest news uh, on our YouTube channel about IGL. Um, but that's it for now. We'll see you later. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs>